This video is going to be an introduction to decimals. Alright, well what is a decimal? Decimal numbers are numbers that are written according to their place value. The decimal point is used to separate whole numbers from numbers less than one. So if you were looking at our examples down at the bottom, anything to the left of the decimal are whole numbers. Anything to the right of the decimal are decimal, they're called decimal numbers, or these are the numbers that are less than one. Okay, so in our examples here, six is a whole number and one is a whole number. Okay, and then point seven six is the is less than one, that's on the decimal side. Point oh six is on the decimal side and point oh nine is on the decimal side. Now when we're looking in here just to understand what a decimal is, if you are given this, this is you know one whole. Just think of when you were in elementary school and you were given base ten blocks. This would be one whole and if we had one whole that would be written with one on the left side of the decimal point. So that would be 1.0. So you could write it 1.0 or 1 over 1 or use the number, the word 1. So that's how you'd indicate a whole. Now if we took this and we split it up into 10 pieces, one of those pieces would be called 1 tenth. And if you notice here, all the decimal places are th, tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Okay, now if you had one tenth or one piece, that's one tenth, so it would be point one because the tenth is the first place value in decimal place value. So it would be point one or one over ten, or in using words, one tenth. If you split that into a hundred pieces and you only color one, then you would write it the one in the hundredths place and you would have to have this zero as a placeholder. So you could write it point zero one or one over a hundred or one hundredth. If you split it up into a thousand pieces and only colored this one piece, okay, you would have to write it in the thousands place. So you'd put your one here in the thousands place and you'd have to have these zeros as placeholders. So you would write it point zero zero one or one thousandth, or you can write it in words as one thousandth. Now, what if I colored 237 of these blocks? As you can see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So this is 100, this is 100, and then 10, 20, 30, and then 7. So you could write that 237 thousandths, and you can write that as 0 0.237, 237 over a thousand, or in words, 237 thousandths. Now, this is an, if you had one whole piece colored in, and then in the second piece, you had 456 colored in, this is where your decimal point would go. You have the one whole on the whole number side. This is the whole number side. And then you have the decimal piece on the decimal side. So it would be 1.456. Now looking at this number, 4 and 502 thousandths, what number is the in the hundredths place? The zero would be in the hundredths place. What number is in the tenths place for one and eighty-nine thousandths? The zero is in the tenths place. What number is in the thousandths place in seven thousandths? Seven thousandths. Hopefully this has given you a better understanding of what decimals are. If you're still confused, please contact your teacher.